Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! I'm going to show you how a first-year mechanical student should acquire the necessary skills to produce a complete project as the requirement of the four blocks of the course such as bench work, drill press work, shaper work, and lathe work. This is the finished project paperweight with pen holder. I'm just going to perform the sequence of operations for each part of the project. The technique for how each of the steps is performed may not be given much emphasis. Assuming that your own teacher is also giving you additional technical know-how. This part is for the late work and the base is for the bench work, drill press work, and shaper work. I will first perform bench work on the base of the pen holder. So this is a T6 aluminum plate measuring 16 by 75 by 75 by 90 mm. I will make its two sides equal 75 by 75 mm. This is the longer side of the work which is 90 mm length and where the student will perform measuring, marking, center punching, axe sewing, and filing. Here are the tools needed. Vernier caliper, box square, steel rule, center pants, scriber, ball pin hammer, set of hand top M8 by 1.25, M6 by 1.0, top wrench or top handle, threading die, M16 by 1.5 Trading die holder and improvised by Prof. Johnny A die holder which is used in the telestock of the lathe Four pieces of drill bit with different sizes Counter sink, counter bar, right hand facing tool bit V-shape tool bit, grooving tool bit, square nose Double cut flat file, single cut flat file, triangular file, file card or steel brass, 14 TPI, axle blade, axle frame, best vice, toe cap, combination set square, and the materials T6 aluminum. Find the straighter edges on the shorter and longer surfaces of the workpiece and make them reference planes A and B. Put a blue dye on the work surface in order for the marking lines to be more visible. From the reference plane A, measure 77, 82, and 87 millimeters and mark a point on its length. Then use a box square to guide the scriber in marking lines on its length of measurement. If you don't have a box square, use the steel rule but it must have another point mark on the opposite side of the point mark previously. In describing a line, place the point of the scriber on the workpiece against a straight edge and hold the scriber inclined away at least 15 degrees from the straight edge and in the direction in which to be drawn. Then draw the marking line only once. From the reference plane B, mark lines 5 mm in between up to their opposite sides.
check that the head of the center pants and the face of the hammer are free of burrs and grease and make sure that the handle of the hammer is fixed solidly to the head then center pants all intersections of the marking lines in so doing rest your hand on the workpiece and hold the center pants upright strike the center pants the blow of the hammer must be delivered in the direction of the center punch axis. While center punching, always focus your eyes on the point of the center punch. We are now on the step of axon wing. If you notice, there are three lines marked at 77, 82, and 87 mm from the reference plane A. Since you are a new learner, the first two lines from this edge are intended for your practice before a final hack sewing on the third line. Clamp the workpiece vertically on the bench vise. Since the workpiece is aluminum, which is quite soft, I will use a vise dough cap to protect the work surface and the cut will be made about 1 fourth inch or 6 mm from the vice jaws to avoid spring and chatter. Check that the pitch of the hacksaw blade is proper for the job and be sure that the point away from the handle. Adjust the tension on the saw blade as tight as two finger pressure will permit. Too much pressure will bend the frame and damage the handle. Too little pressure will allow the blade to bend produce an inaccurate cut and break the blade let's start position the blade on the work just outside the first marking line 87 millimeters if the saw does not start readily you can use a triangular file to produce a v-shaped nick or pilot groove at the starting point start sewing Holding the hacksaw at a slight angle to the workpiece surface. The right hand is on the handle of the hacksaw, while the other hand is on the other end of the frame. Sew initially with light pressure only so that the saw does not slip off to the side. The movement starts with the arms and is assisted by a corresponding movement of the body. In short, pay attention to holding the saw correctly, correct body positioning and correct positioning of the feet apply downward pressure on the forward stroke and release it on the return stroke use a speed of about 50 strokes per minute you must apply all the techniques as well as the safety precautions that you have learned from your lecture about hawk sewing in order to use the tool properly and avoid accidents during hack sewing the marking line must remain visible when nearing the end of the cut, slow down and ease up the down pressure to control the saw as it breaks through the material. After the first practice, check the flatness, squareness, and straightness of the sewed surface with the use of a steel square or back square. And then ask the professor for further instructions or corrections. If you perform well during the first practice, then you may proceed with the final cut which is 77 mm if not do the last practice before the final hack sewing The next step is filing. Since the material is soft, I'm going to use a coarse double cut flat file to remove the excess material quickly, followed by a single cut flat file for the finishing cut. The method of filing that I'm using is cross filing, which is used to remove the excess material rapidly. Cross the stroke at regular intervals to keep the surface flat and straight.
checking Oke, okay. oke, okay. leave about 0.5 mm for finishing. I will now use the single cut flat file for finishing. And the method of filing is draw filing to produce a straight square surface with a finer surface finish than is produced by straight filing. The file is alternately pulled and pushed lengthwise along the surface of the work. The file should be held flat and pressure should be applied only to the forward stroke. On the return stroke, the file should be slid back without applying pressure or lifting the file from the work. The surface should be tested occasionally for flatness, straightness, and squareness with the edge of a steel rule or box square or a combination square. So the flatness, squareness, straightness is perfect. From end to end. Let's also check the required measurement which is 75 by 75 millimeters with the use of a vernier caliper. Alright, 75 mm equal to its other side. Filing is already finished. Let's now proceed to drill press work. 